To write the name for NiSO4, the first thing we need to recognize is SO4 here. This is called the sulfate ion. It's a polyatomic ion, and it's bonded to nickel. Nickel is a transition metal. So we have this metal and then these nonmetals in the polyatomic ion. We have this ionic compound here, and we can use these rules to write the name. First, we'll write the name of the metal. That's the nickel. So nickel. And then we write the name of the polyatomic ion. We said this SO4 is the sulfate ion, lowercase s. So far, the name we have is nickel sulfate for NiSO4. But nickel, we said, is a transition metal. Because of that, we don't really know what the charge is going to be unless we look at what it's bonded to. Here, it's bonded to a sulfate, polyatomic ion. And the whole thing has an ionic charge of 2 minus. So if the sulfate ion is 2 minus, the nickel, it has to be 2 plus for the charges to balance out, give us a net charge of zero. We need to show that in the name. And the way we do that, we put a Roman numeral 2 in parentheses. And the name for NiSO4 is nickel 2 sulfate. If you were given the name and asked the formula, you'd know that nickel has a 2 plus ionic charge because it says nickel 2. You know the sulfate, that's always 2 minus. So you'll have one nickel and one sulfate, Ni. SO4 for nickel 2 sulfate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.